welcome to Sculpture Studios. Now, this isn't the first item that we've created for a pub or restaurant. A few years ago, we made some golden suns for the Sun Inn pub, we made a blue strawberry for the blue strawberry, and here we're making a stand-in man for any takers? The stand-in man freehouse up in Kilmarnock in Scotland. The brief is to simply expand upon the pub logo, where this fine gentleman in his frock tail coat, top hat and monocle is simply begging to be brought into the 3D world. We think the best option for this project is to dress a mannequin in suitable clothing, impregnate this with resin and then artwork accordingly. This will save needing to charge the client for a hand carved master pattern and just makes the entire look of the folds in the clothing that much more realistic because, well it is realistic. The face will need to be much more in keeping with that of the man in the logo so this is being modelled in a hard chivant wax clay, basically a modelling clay that doesn't dry out. We're going to be sculpting this, taking a mould and then taking a fibreglass cast to stick onto the mannequin's existing face. He's being sculpted with significantly more character than the face beneath and the top hat that's being over exaggerated a little in polystyrene will add to the finish dramatically. From this next shot you can see how a regular top hat just simply isn't cutting the mustard so that's where a little creativity and extra embellishments are what's needed for the project. The positioning of the mannequin limbs will need to be changed both to fit holding a pointer in the man's left hand as well as a cheeky pint in the other. Once again to save on carving or modelling realistic grips for the hand positions we're taking a quick alginate mould of some real hands in the correct pose finally modelled by Kevin here. We pour a fast cast plastic mix inside to create the casts and then rip the alginate rubber off once the plastic is set. Alginate is being used as a more cost effective option as opposed to silicon rubber as we're only needing one cast from each mould. We're then going to cut open a couple of gloves to add on to each hand to finish the look. We're taking a silicon rubber mould of the face as well as the modelled hair on the back of the head. This will then be backed up with a glass fibre jacket and split in two to create a two part mould. The wax clay master pattern underneath will then be removed from the job and put back in the bag for another project. We can then lay up a cast inside each half of the mould using a gel coat of resin and glass fibre. Once the materials have cured and these are extracted and trimmed, we can then secure these to the head as a permanent fixture. Very much, especially now I've got your your wonderful noise making in it. dressing the figure, adding a few embellishments to bring him properly up to scratch, including cuffs, collar, gloves and more. Once we're happy with the way everything's sitting, the whole suit is going to be impregnated with resin. This can be done by a brush, but we need to make sure that everything sets in the correct position whilst the resin cures, and this then locks everything in place. We then go over the entire sculpture with a grey primer, and this is then ready to receive the gold artwork. To 
to accentuate the detail in the clothing, and just to make the artwork a little more theatrical, we're going in with a darker gold on the deeper spots. The whole sculpture is then sealed with a lacquer. We've created figures in a similar style before, usually for museums or exhibition spaces, as it's a simple and effective way to achieve a realistic look when it comes to the clothing. Hopefully this happy chappy will be appreciated up at his new home in Kilmarnock in Scotland, no doubt a little bit of a photo opportunity with the regulars. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true diehard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. All of our supporter contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.